Hey yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to another Team Alvo cook-off. Now today guys, I have some originals with me. That was a nice little butt slap from Adam. <laughs> but guys, we are doing one of the most requested videos. I went through all the comments of you guys saying your creative ideas and today we are doing the burrito cook-off. Burrito! <laughs> Quick competition, who can do the best salsa? Go. Oh, 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 Let's go through our ingredients very quickly, guys. We have three different types of tortillas. We got originals, we got sun-dried tomato, and we got whole wheat. We got sour cream, cheese, different types of taco seasoning, so they'll be able to pick that. We have ground turkey, we have chicken, and we have steak. We got iceberg lettuce, we have some cilantro, some avocados, tomatoes, garlic, onion, peppers, oh my God. rice, the black beans. beans, some pinto beans, some corn, and then a lot of seasonings there for you as well. <laughs> Why the beans have to be black? Because black's the best type of bean, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before we begin, I need your guys' help right, right now. I know a bunch of you guys at home always have awesome shout outs for the cook offs. So comment down below what cook off you have to see right now. If you're enjoying the cook offs as usual, smash the like button. But without further ado, baby, let's do this. All right, guys, while DJ is preparing, we got Sean and Swayze hitting the woes. This is whoa, this is gonna be trash. So, we're gonna be <laughs> over here. <laughs> DJ hasn't cooked anything but a pancake in seven years, <laughs> other than the cook off. So, I'm not really scared. So, it's me versus Sean today. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, holy smoke, yo. yo right. DJ, you gotta come through with some heat bro, now, bro. You can't. Have you ever seen DJ eat a burrito? I, I don't okay, think so. eat a burrito. Yes, <laughs> mate. Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, what is hey. your first step? You see all these ingredients, and DJ. Is, I'm gonna heat up this chicken. All right, I'm gonna put it on like a low medium, and then I'm gonna start chopping up my veggies. <laughs> and later, bro. Maybe when you're done, I'll probably be out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see that? No support. No support. <laughs> Chicken, Ryan, actually. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. He really can't like cook a burrito. He can't cook a burrito, so just take the owl, eat the pizza, and let's, let's have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna use the bread that's the fanciest. Whole wheat, kind of boring. Wait, we're not doing that. You know Sean's not using that. So basically, <laughs> I'm just here to watch Actually, DJ because I just think this is gonna be fun. Ryan know. has no faith, neither do I, but we express it in different ways. Ryan leaves. How about I literally, literally just use everything? <laughs> okay, so we have a bit of oregano we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of this apple. So I think that's what I'm gonna use so far. <laughs> and then, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Is chicken going on? Let's get to chopping. A little cilantro vibes, so you don't need too much. Ooh, okay. Look a little, uh, whatever this is, whatever you want to call this. Okay, we're gonna leave that on the corner up here. First things first, tomato sticker on, because if you don't know, all of the stickers on fruits and vegetables are actually edible. Look it up. <laughs> From here, this is where it gets a little interesting. Right? It gets a little crazy here, folks. <gasps> oh. Oh. All right, we're gonna just, no, we're going dice. All right, there that, you go. That worked out very quick. Literally, there you go. That all turned around. Okay, beautiful. All right. Oh. Stop trying to bat. This guy tried to realize. He realized no, no. what he did. No, I'm a white boy That's telling right. this guy. No, I didn't it's even about, put the classic song. No, at least song. It's about. You know what happened? I was in tunnel vision. I didn't see the spices. I didn't think about it. Absolutely. <laughs> We lost a black member today, ladies and gentlemen. What you happened to him? Chicken, yeah. man. You never Wait. put chicken with no seasoning. Wait. That's a Sean thing. I'm not done. Just wait, I have a little idea. You know Ooh. what? Let's get these peppers ready, baby. Okay, okay. Ooh, you see the slice? All right, we're there. coming back. This is where DJ does the uh, does the old reverse thing, all right? Yeah. Your slice game has been nice today. <laughs> I will say that. The ingredients look good. Ooh, it's getting a little brown on one side. Oh, a little brown. I see some okay. colors now. The seasoning might have slipped my mind. DJ, you're the chef. That's you're the technique. But this That's chicken is whiter than Mr. Rogers on a Wednesday. Day. I will say that. What these bozos don't know is if you season it before, the seasonings get burned and then you don't taste anything. Why would I put the seasoning on before, burn them all off so you don't taste it? That's not seasoning. I like that. Hey, I see colors on it now. I think that's how we're cooking these days, but okay. Just <laughs> wasting spices. That's cool. Oh, and then the salt comes oh, out. I'm not gonna lie. That little oh. cut Bro, the seasoning is looking good on it. I'm not gonna lie. We can do some cayenne. Why not? 
<laughs> Come on, because we're luxury. Come All right, on. so DJ, you have your chicken. It's cooking. It's almost done. Yep. All right, you chopped up some ingredients, okay. caught a couple roasts along yeah. the way. Yeah. What yeah. is the final steps? It looks like you're kind of being close to finished. Okay, the okay. The only thing I have left to prep is just this lettuce here, and then I have the cheese and sour cream, and then it's just going to all come together all at once. All right, that's the part you don't want to miss. All right, smash the thumbs up button. Got our lettuce. Going to wash it up. Ooh, the classic long string technique. Yep. See very it? nice, very nice. I don't hear any roasting. What's, what's popping? It's crickets out here, bro. <laughs> you silence the haters. <laughs> you oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just we thought we silenced the haters. Uh, As the top dog of the haters, the roasters, whatever you want to call us, <laughs> we have actually given up on this. So oh. there will be minimal roast on this because that, it looks disgusting. So I don't know what he's going to do with this. Is he just going to... If you put that off, oh my god. What? 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 what, what, what. Hey, at least your chicken's not white, bro. We have a last second open from the D. It's audible. This guy's Tom Brady in the fourth, bro. What are we saying? What's the last minute decision here? Basically, it was another one of those just blackout kind of situations. I tunnel visioned again. I didn't see the corn on the side. Oh. And this is something that even I would 100% put on my own burrito. DJ, that chicken. Yep, yeah, that chicken's looking ready. Look at that steam, ladies and gentlemen. Commence making your burrito. Yes, let's get it. First step. That sour cream with the straight edge. Some of that chicken on it. Some of that chicken on it. Okay, now we're gonna put some tomato. Tomatoes. Okay. We're gonna use a little bit of pepper, not too much. You know when you go to the, the burrito spot and you ask for veggies? Yeah. And they're like cooked veggies. You know those ones? <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna finish off by sprinkling some corn on that. Doesn't look nice right now, but we're gonna close it up. Okay, here we go. DJ just for, this is just for doesn't like cheese on his burritos. <gasps> okay, we're gonna add some cheese on the burrito. All right, we're gonna put some shredded cheese. All right, things are just slipping our mind today. Here we go, two shots of cheese. All right, a little bit of cilantro. That's everything. All right, that's your final burrito. That's my final burrito. So there you I'm guys have shook. it. I'm not gonna lie. That what is did I not like, This is just from watching mans get big dutty subs and burritos. Oh, okay. Not bad. From, so let's try the burrito. Before you taste this burrito, Swayze, so just think about like how long we've been boys, just like all the memories we've had. You know, I'm like. Not that. You come for a close up here, pal. Oh, More man. opening up the burrito. This is what we got. Okay. <laughs> It's a taquito, bro. I'm oh you. my god. Not bad, not bad. Let's All right, guys, let's try DJ's chicken burrito with the sun dried tortilla. Let's try this out. <laughs> Don't even dare stand up and dance. He's, there's up. no way. I'll be surprised if the chicken's cooked. I'll be surprised. The winner of today's I'll be surprised. is Chad for actually eating that burrito. So, 100%. Oh. No trolls. Okay. I can't taste anything. <laughs> My last one. This is my last cook off. Last cook off. I love you. I just got gathered everything with flavor because I know that has no flavor. So the form is nice. This is a burrito, so like you <laughs> held it down that part. The chicken's cooked. Is it a burrito though? How mad would you? Oh, I can... how did I? Mm. I'm pretty sure burritos are supposed to have rice in them. Oh my! I guess it's like one of the main yeah. conditions. This is the soft, the soft So when I looked around. A bunch of times, you knew. Oh, I sabotage. Sabotage. I hope you have cheese. DJ, come try out your Yo, burrito. do I have to? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> if I ordered this from like a Spanish place, I'm beefing everyone in the store. <laughs> if McDonald's came out with burritos, I'd be like, that's probably that. So, guys, we will now judge DJ's burrito. I think, in all fairness, it's not bad. Like we said, so are we gonna give it a clean 7.5 across the board? Uh, but to be honest, that's like a, a four from Jazz. <laughs> so a 7.5 from DJ. They gotta do their thing, they gotta make it right in order to beat DJ. Let's Bro. see if they can beat it. I wish Jad was my teacher. <laughs> I would have done great in every class. And if you didn't, I would have made you think you did. We're on to Ryan. Let's go. All right, DJ, don't stray too far because now you get to roast. It's the beautiful part about this challenge. Everyone gets roasted. So Swayze, baby. I won two cook-offs, so I just got my gold medal. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Guys, all the cook-off champions now get fresh ice. So Swayze, baby, what meat have you 
chosen? Today I am doing the turkey meat, my second favorite meat of all time. What's the first? Shrimp. I love shrimp. Oh, I, I think 90% of the cook-offs involve shrimp, even the dessert ones. <laughs> so Ryan. Thank you so smash the like button, I'm out of my element, but we're gonna do a shrimp. I mean, uh, holy sauce. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I already chopped up some red peppers when Jad wasn't looking. Oh. So time management. Time is money, and these days I'm gonna need it, so subscribe. <laughs> But, um, guys, the way I prepare my food, don't watch that, watch TV, but the way it tastes... Like we've mentioned in other episodes, it's the final results. It's the final. It's the final countdown. Oh, okay. Ryan has maybe only cooked peppers in this household. A lot <laughs> of peppers in this Peppers are my like, go-to. Oh, saving some for Sean. Oh, I want oh, my competition to try. That's one burrito's amount of peppers? I'm a big guy. Cool. This? Once. Oh my god. Okay, don't do this again. You did this last time. You don't He's cutting eat. lettuce for me too. Thanks. For the conversation. I got you, bro. What's up? Oh my. Oh my bongo shit. Show my boy Bongo. I've been watching him. Wait, that's a big up burrito. We're gonna slow that that's down. I don't know what cilantro tastes like, but I always ask for it on my burritos. I can tell you what it is. But you don't, it looks good. You don't need too much of that because the cilantro can just add a little bit. As I prepare, I'm going to turn on both elements right now. I'm gonna use two. DJ only used one. FYI. Go for the hardest one. This one you go second. You gotta feel which one is good. Where did Sean put the other? Where did wow. Sean? Sean is sabotaging. I thought we were a team. I gave Where you the best avocado. But you know what? You work with what you got. You work with what you got. So <laughs> where are they? I need another one. Remember my preparation? I'm not good at this, so boom. Sean taught me and then nope. <laughs> We're just gonna squeeze that out. Okay. There you go. Get that out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Rajan shows me. Yo, they're soft. I'm gonna use a fork. You just gotta beat the avocado. Like, eat seeds with your uh, burritos? Bro, this is a dot the chunk. Oh, oh. that? Just look, like, you know, because I try to give you a chance, but you corrected me, so now you're done. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm doing a Mexican style burrito. I'm not DJ, I can cook. So, we have two seasonings right here. We have Old El Paso, classic company. I wanna make mine a little kick, you know? I could use this, but that's all. What I'm gonna use is this and add my own homemade hot sauce. So, Ooh. so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop all our meat just go yeah, eat that. Oh, my oh, 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 the paper. Yo, Turn it off. Yo, oh, Ryan's gonna burn down the house. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, ow, 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 that's a hot tamale. Okay, okay. Oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> is this get him, get him. That's what cooking looks like? Wow, is that what's Bro, John sabotaged me. It was oh, on medium. That's a new thing. We used to it was on thing. medium. And this is the last album cook off in this house because Ryan burnt it down. <laughs> there is no more house after this. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're, we saved. We saved it. Oh my god, guys, watch out. Watch out. Sean looking a little too comfortable. Hiding, bro. There you go. Oh. These we, we want to burn a little bit. Please, the oil. <laughs> I think we're good. I forgot about some tomatoes. Remember, efficiency does not rhyme with me, so we don't do that. You just mosh it up. That does look like how it is at every place. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't give too much effort. You don't want too many tomatoes, so I'm gonna section that off over there. I checked online and I saw that like, ground beef is the traditional style for a burrito, the traditional meat. Is that is that true? Comment down below, let me know. It's been a while, but. <clears throat> 1901, the traditional taco was actually invented in Mexico and it was anything that you could afford. Right? So some people could get ground beef, some people could get chicken. Okay. You know, like they didn't really have anything, some was just beans. Oh, just so there was corn. no traditional no meat. Traditional, so just it's just whatever, keep however that in mind. you're living. Keep okay. That okay. In mind. So we are adding the taco seasoning. You want to put about a half cup of water in it and uh, mix it up. Mix hot it up. Chocolate? Actually, I made hot chocolate for my opponents. And you got, here you go for the win. Yeah. There you go. Oh. We're gonna simply pour this in, pour it oh, all around. Wow. DJ is actually shocked at this. <laughs> wow, that's what it looks like. But so let's not forget, Ryan almost burned the house down. So let's keep going. <laughs> on, on these, these ones you want bunsky. You need these to be bunsky. Guys, Team Abo Dictionary, bunsky means a little <laughs> slightly burnt. Yeah, a little slightly burnt. <laughs> We're also gonna let this be basically fry up, evaporate, and this is gonna be all seasoned. Where's my guac? What? <laughs> Where's the rice? Right? No! Oh, the rice! I got another one. No! No! No, we should have done one! I didn't know you did This is what we're doing over here? This Yo. is how we're moving? I thought we were a team. Okay! <laughs> this guy's making a soup, eh? <laughs> what the f is this? Burrito soup? <laughs> What's going on? 
Come on, going for a swim, buddy. <laughs> and complete, guys. Ah, lovely. We are now done our burrito. There it is. Some peppers Ooh. coming down. Ooh. Those, I'm not gonna lie, those look nice. Those look good, baby. That's nice. We oh, saved the bunness. It was getting close. Now, let's prepare our burrito. Look at all that beautifulness. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the meat right there. All right, the smallest. Oh. Today I am going with the white wrap burrito. I usually get spinach burritos on a diet wrap. So what You're we're gonna diet, do? So maybe you should go with the whole wheat one. <laughs> no, we're just gonna stick with the white one. <laughs> the sabotage is crazy. Obviously, gotta add the meat first. The meat just goes right in the middle. Boom skis. Nice little amount of meat. What? Cheese is going on that. Ah. Let that melt a little bit. Oh. Not too much. That's a good save. Then we go lettuce and we go tomatoes. That's looking nice. Then we go something I call home corn advantage. We get salsa. We're getting some salsa vibes. Just not too much. As Sean said, very liquidy burritos are okay. kind of. <laughs> We're going to add the rice. We're going to add the rice and the guac. Please. <laughs> What do you, what do you <laughs> take? I was, I was talking to Dad about something. What do you take off of? <laughs> yeah. I'll give you one hint. What? Bunski. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> you actually helped me. Help me. <laughs> they prayed on my downfall, <laughs> but they're helping me. A little bit of rice, not too much. Rice oh. on the top, eh? Oh. But there you go. Last but not least, we're gonna add our guac meat. Little sour cream on top. <laughs> Can I ask for some space? Yeah. Everyone, back it up, back it up. Okay. Don't see. know how they'd ever do this. Oh. oh. Oh, all right. Oh, there we go. Wrong. Oh, here we what? go. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where D takes the lead. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh! Taking a risk. Okay. Oh. oh. This could end bad. This is a risk. Ryan the burrito. Oh my there God. You go. Ryan is sealing the burrito. This does now look like a burrito, my yep. friend. Oh! oh not horrible. Not fun. Not horrible. Oh. Yes! Messy, I'll take some points. But taste, that's gonna be wavy. <laughs> Ryan's burrito. Now, Ryan, I have to cut it in half like I did to DJ. Ah. All right, guys, let's take a look inside. You see it on the screen, Swayze? Oh, oh wow. Come on. Wow. That's a burrito if I ever seen wow, one, ladies and gentlemen. Looks... This is the turkey burrito a la Swayze. <laughs> what you think of that? Oh, it didn't drip too much. The messiness, the yeah, yeah, the ceiling saved it a little bit. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is a textbook delicious burrito. Wow. Just like the fact you added in the old El Paso, it it carries the guac, like the texture from the guac, the sour cream, like the lightness. It's great. It's I'll amazing. take it. It I'll tastes take so it. good, and it just tastes exactly how a burrito should. That's that's what I feel like. Ryan, please come taste it. I think I'm you guys should taste it. Wow. Okay, Ryan, take your bite from your okay, nice okay. half. Mm. Oh. oh my god, that's good. Eh? <laughs> I'm quitting YouTube. I'm a Chipotle worker. <laughs> it is what it is. Got some roots. Jeez. <laughs> Contestants are fighting over it. Here's where he got points for the look, was the nice, flat crispiness. The only thing I had to dock points on was a little more messy. So for the look, Ryan, I'll give you a 9.2 out of 10. It still looked amazing with it. everything on the inside as well. Different colors, Ooh. walks, all that stuff. Taste was banging, son. Incredible. There's always room for like a little bit more. So I have to give it a 9.4 out of 10. I'm giving you an average of 9.3 out of the two scores. So it's a killer score. We have seen insane higher scores than that. We'll see if Sean can do it right now. But Ryan, great Thank job, so my much. friend. Thank you. Ryan might have back-to-back cook-off wins right now. We have Senior Sean, who is also, like mentioned before, a quarter Mexican. There's ingredients here for a reason, and a lot of them aren't being used. But me. My, my uh, abuela, she taught me how to use every single ingredient placed in front of me, so I'm gonna be using all of it today. Jeez. I'm gonna be going complex, ladies and gentlemen. These guys. No magazine, let's go. Say, this was simple. Now we're going with the hardest meat available. It's been two minutes of talking and I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now ladies and gentlemen, we got a nice piece of steak here. As you can see, very minimal fat on this steak. We're gonna get some nice strips of steak, Oz. Oh man. This is gonna cook it much faster, more efficient. These nice strip, Oz. Good strip. 20 minutes, 
been 20 minutes. I want to roast. I, I have nothing to roast. He's actually perfect. He's, he's, this is the best contestant so far. He hasn't done nothing wrong because he hasn't done anything. Now, of course, we're not going to make the same mistake DJ made. Steak has a lot of flavor in it already, so you actually don't have to go as ham as you normally would with something like chicken. But we're still going to get a nice amount of salt. That does look good. And guys, I witnessed Sean did wash his hands. Mmm, caress wow. it all together. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Sean doesn't season his steaks. He seasons his cutting board. It's a viral video. Check it out. Oh, man, that looks seasoned. I was thinking about doing the whole carne asada, but we already did that. So I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to do more, uh, kind of a little more like a DJ route where I flavor the burrito, but you let the steak be. Are you oh, ready? Are we about to hear some? Oh, you're about to, about hear, to hear some real quick? Oh, oh about to hear some. Oh, oh, oh. Are you dumb? Are you, are you dumb? Oh. Oh. I can respect how Sean cut the steak up beforehand. Cause look, it's already cooking. You can tell it's changing colors. Quick, efficiency, efficiency. We're making some nice, long, stringy onion babs. Guys, Sean is going for a advanced cutting technique. Oh, they exploded out into perfect Pop cubes. Up, baby, we get some nice cubes. Let me double check my meat. Oh, bro. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Are you dumb? Looks so good. Now we've got our veggies. As Jeez. you guys see, we got onions in here too, not just peppers. Over. Voila. This is gonna add some flavor to the peppers too from the onions. Facts. You're thinking, on, bro. Dude. You're thinking. That's Come like you. It's like you seasoned it without having to season it. Exactly. Exactly. Sean snapping on those. The beef is finishing up, and Sean has a couple of last-minute ingredients to prepare. All right, folks. Like I said, every ingredient gets used here. So we've got some garlic, one of the most flavorful pieces of food that you can add into things. We're gonna add a little garlic in with our veggies. While this is just hanging out, we're gonna put a little bit in here. Jeez. Give some added flavoring. All right, we're chopping up our tomatoes real nice and thin. You might think this is supposed to be going in the burrito. Actually, you guys might have noticed, we got blessed. We got a little extra avocado, so we're gonna save that. We're not gonna waste any more. So gotta hit you guys with the classic, it's your boy avocado slicing, because it's just so satisfying. You know, he's done this maybe three million times, and Ryan tried to do this earlier. No one can do Wasn't it. Wasn't able to. I think Bongo can. Oh, do. popped it up. These are hard avocado. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he came out to roast. Wow. Fancy little cubes. That's a lot cooler than Swayze. Oh. <laughs> now it's time to add some tomatoes in here. We're going to mix that in. Not too much. I might add a little bit more. You don't want too much onion in here. Oh, but yeah, you need them thin. You need them super thin. Super thin, super thin. And Those onion. are some mini onions. And of course, you need a little bit of salt and pepper. Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Boop, boop. Boop. Mix that all in. Oh, now this is a guac. Oh, those the are onions are nice and nice cooked. And cook up. I still want these to get a little more cooked. They are a little thick, so that's good. Our meat is looking good. Oh, this is all ready. This is done. Oh. This is, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna take a, a not a choice cut because okay. I need that for my clients. Okay? Yes. Mm. Oh, for face, a treat. The face says it all. The face says it all. So Sean is finishing the last steps of his burrito. As you can tell, it looks amazing. He's got the cooked onions, the garlic, a bunch of stuff that the other guys haven't used. So let's let Sean decorate his burrito. I'm gonna actually say nay nay to the white, nay nay to the sun dried. Oh. I care about my customers. I want them to be healthy. So we're going with the whole wheat. Jeez. It's gonna give you a little bit of a different texture. You might not like it as much, but you know who will like it? Your body. We're gonna go. Boom. Oh, look at the veggies. The veggies. Okay, now scoop some of this rice out here. Oh. And you see those vibes. Oh, oh that's a that's the base of a burrito, you bozos. <laughs> Normally, this would be the point where you add the beans, but I personally am not a big fan of beans. We're gonna give you some nice choice pieces of steak. Jeez. We're gonna save a bit. That's a good amount, not too much. Look okay, that. okay. It's clean right now, fam. Nice. That's clean. Some tomats on the top. Mm -hmm. Um, now. While this is still hot, we still have access yes. to it. We're gonna add some of the cheese. Boom. I sprinkle a cheese, pop a little bit of corn. Just make sure I'm not forgetting anything like some of my other contestants. We're gonna go with a little bit of the salsa. This is gonna be a saucy burrito, ladies and gentlemen. Use the, the tester yeah. of the beef. We're gonna go with our guac. Yes. Our real guac. Mm. Oh, look at that. Our lettuce on top. And to finish it all off, we're gonna add some sour cream. On the oh. other side, I'm gonna add a nice dollop on top of our burrito sauce. Oh. oh never mind, not on top. All right, now. Oh, this is the big moment for Sean. This is the big moment. This is when Can you gotta, Sean wrap it up? You gotta wrap it up. <laughs> Don't forget. Folks, it looks like DJ's the only one who actually knew how to roll a burrito. <laughs> 
<laughs> like first try. Uh oh, guys, Sean is struggling a little bit. Struggle is. Not too easy after all. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Very circular burrito in there. Right <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, hey. hey <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. We're praying that works. All right, guys. Sean has put it on. Let's see. Will the flip be worth it? Oh, ah, nice. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the last burrito of the day, Sean's whole wheat steak burrito. Like Ryan was mentioning earlier, Sean's is a interesting shape, but it still looks amazing and it was closed, nothing leaking. So it's nice. Oh, great crisp. Mm, treat that oh. bad boy with care, baby. Oh, look at him. Oh, and let's open it up. Let's get this site here and Bang! Oh, nice. My. This is a good, this is a great looking burrito. Okay. Let's try the taste. That might be mud. Oh, that might be mud. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a big head nod, uh -oh, baby. Folks. That's a uh -oh. bobble head. Oh, it's a head banger. Oh, it. holy! Oh, he's going for high number two. Oh, holy! Beautiful, that deserved its own dance. I taste elbow. A little hey. bit of I do wish there was a little more meat. That's the only thing okay. I'm maybe ah. wishing. A lick, like, like a, a little bit more meat. Okay. Please come try this thing. Okay. Other contestants, I highly recommend you do. Oh, Swayze took a nice big bite there. Mm. Judging the faces. Oh, Ooh. Swayze is being... <laughs> I know when Swayze's eyes droop yeah. and he looks like he's about to sleep when he's eating. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, it's amazing. I know what you mean about the meat, but... It is really good. This is the tightest judge's decision I've made in a very long time. It's gonna be very close, down to the wire. DJ might pull through. <laughs> Stop. Actually, no, won't. But you're roasting. The look of this, all right, looked amazing. The insides were beautiful. The shape was interesting, and the insides were still very, very good. So I'm gonna give the looks a 9.2 out of 10. 9.2 out of 10 for the looks. The taste, it was amazing. I love the steak, I love the sauce he made, it was so good. Guys, Camp Calzer John's just a nice guy. Someone's gonna get heartbroken here. I'm gonna have to give this a 9.3 out of 10. Amazing story, amazing story. Swayze Baby coming here, Swayze Baby. The edge, the edge came to Swayze Baby. <laughs> a plan, a high quality, I think Ryan got a little lucky with the win. So shake hands. But guys, just like referees in the NBA and football, you know, judges can be wrong sometimes. So please comment down below what you think. Just based off the looks, who should have won that? All right, DJ, Sean. DJ should have won. I think. I think comment down was, below if DJ should have won. That was an upset. This was an amazing cookout. Thank you so much to everyone who recommended the burritos. I look at every single comment. So comment down below, like I said earlier, what the next cook-off should be. Smash the thumbs up button on the video if you enjoy the cook-offs, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, guys. You guys are the best, man. We love you so much. I'm yeah. gonna cry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the last cook-off in this kitchen. Like I mentioned earlier, we will be bringing it back to the next house. So go ahead, smash the thumbs up button. You want to see another cook-off? Make it happen. It's easy. Just press the button. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to all these beautiful people, all right? Did you get in there, bro? Look at these guys. Just show your face. Get up close to the camera, YouTube. man. YouTube.com slash Ryan Swayze. Vote for DJ down below. He should have won that. I don't know how I won. Look at this guy. Doesn't let anyone. DJ, any message? message? You want to see the people? Subscribe to the boy. I do not cook on my channel because I don't do what I can't do. I don't cook on my channel either because I have so many skills that I just can't put them all <laughs> on one channel. So so check check out. Me out. Guys, thank you so much for watching, man. I love y'all so much. Every single one of you. Have the best day of your lives, all right? And we will see you. Well, we'll see them. In the next.